First here at 5 o'clock, conditions continue to improve across central Texas, but we've got another cold night ahead of us, and the aftermath of all the ice on the roads is still visible. Trucks and cars still line some major roads. KXAN's Nabil Ramadna is live for us with a look at conditions and, of course, how they've changed since yesterday. So, Nabil, tell us where you are and what you're seeing. That's right, we're actually downtown, close to downtown I-35 on the upper deck. If you remember, this is one area where we saw a lot of accidents and we saw a few accidents up in Round Rock and Georgetown as well. Some of those cars being left behind, but take a look outside as we see uh, quite different from what we saw yesterday. Those left lanes a little bit wet, but that ice is gone and Unfortunately, we're getting into a little bit of that five o'clock traffic that we know oh so well. Uh, that's just from people getting out and about. Now, up in Georgetown, we did see about two vehicles left on the side of the road and tow trucks. Well, they're going to be left to, to clean those up. Those tow truck companies speak to me today about what they saw yesterday and today. I decided to come and to pull it over and just to you know, take a break. When roads iced over on I-35, Newman Azizov pulled his truck off the interstate. I mean, you can see, you yeah. got the iced over tires. Yes, I'm not gonna drive them right now because it's all the ice. Thursday's icy roads left many drivers slipping and sliding, some in worse shape than others. It's a little bit more difficult um, to get to some of them that are on ice. But when duty calls, Larry Hopper with Round Rock Towing is there to help. A record like this is a little bit faster in weather like this. You're not laying on the ground trying to hook your lines up under the vehicle. While some vehicles were towed. If the vehicle is completely off the road, not impeding traffic, they're going to leave it till after the ice clears up. And many cars still lined I-35 on Friday afternoon. So we are out more today because the roads really aren't bad. Again, a live look here on I-35. You can see there is barely any ice, if any at all. We've seen just a few chunks, and I think that's from some of the vehicles. Now, uh, Hopper was telling me that basically his crews, they were monitoring things yesterday, but so many people heeded the warning that our meteorologists were getting out on not to get on the roads. And he says that he believes that's one reason why they weren't as busy as last year's winter storm, because so many people just didn't want to get out in these unsafe conditions. So again, lots of those cars that we did see on the side of the road, it looks like they've been picked up. We only counted about two up near Georgetown, but as you can see, I'll give you one last look outside here. Those road conditions, much safer and better than what we saw yesterday. Back to you.